All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B. And right now, it is 1.03 in the morning and I have to catch a flight to Atlanta at 6.45. I will be in Atlanta you know, throughout the weekend and throughout the next few days of the next week. Um, chilling out with Tony, helping him move and everything, so I will not be here. But I definitely wanted to drop another weekly sneaker rotation on you guys just because I haven't dropped one in a few weeks. I've I just been busy doing different things, but I'm back with yet another video. Got a little bit of old style Kanye, a little bit of throwback Kanye in the back. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So Monday was actually the 4th of July, so salute to everybody out there. And I went the Hype Beast patriotic route and I wore the Royals on the left foot and the Breads on the right foot. Now there is no on feet for these because you guys have seen these shoes a million times on my channel. But this is what I wore. I actually threw on that Dale Earnhardt shirt that I got from the thrift. Uh, I got another thrifting video. It may be up now. It may not be. I just know I shot everything at this point and I still got to go edit it. So hopefully you guys have seen that video by now. If not, um, there's a new thrift video coming soon. You know what I'm saying? But Hype Beast, Patriotic Route, I went for on the 4th of July. This is what I rocked on Monday. Feel free to let me know what you guys rocked for 4th of July. Next shoe. Now on Tuesday, I had to go with the classic, the tried and true all white shoe. I believe I put this in my top five shoes for spring and summer, but that is the all white. And I know it's kind of hard to see right here, but I got the B-roll, don't worry. The all white tumble leather with the gum bottom Air Force One. These joints were on sale for like 60 or 70 bucks. I mean, I paid full price for mine out of the store. I like shot like a mall trip vlog video. And um, these joints, man, I got them in 11 and a half and these are clean, dog. I don't care what nobody says. I know like Air Forces aren't like the coolest thing, the most trendiest thing these days in this day and age. But yo, these all white, low top, all tumble leather joints with the gum bottom. But these are certified for summer 16. That was Tuesday. What did your boy B put on his feet for Wednesday? Now on Wednesday, I actually went with one of my newest cops. Um, and this one really like surprised me when I got it in. And it even surprised me when I put it on my feet. They're actually really, really comfortable. And that is the Ronnie Feig and Puma and Colette Blaze of Glory. All blue. Um, I believe it's called a new buck. It's some type of new buck on the upper. This shoe, just quality wise, if you watch my unboxing, you already know how I was feeling about these. This shoe is phenomenal quality wise. It's just a dope summer kick, all blue with the white. And um, I was gonna pack these for um, I was gonna pack these for Atlanta, but I was really trying to um, I was really trying to limit myself to what I was gonna take with me. Um, so these are sadly gonna be left behind in Virginia. Um, but I will be rocking these when I get back. I pack some other stuff that you guys will see. Pretty sure I'm gonna do like a what I pack what I pack video or whatever um, at some point. But yeah, the kit joints right here the Colette joints right here the Puma joints right here just straight flames once again all blue new buck on the upper y'all can see I don't need to tell you that was Wednesday what's on Thursday so this next shoe I really don't wear these a lot at all but I've worn them more than my Columbia's and that is the 72 and 10 Air Jordan 11 um, and just when I pull them back out the box and was really thinking about it like the way I got these was like basically all because of my girlfriend. Really what happened was I think I was either out of town or I just was away. I don't know what was going on, but I really couldn't go and pick up my shoes. Maybe I was working on something, I'm not sure. And the only reason I got these was because she was able to go to the mall and pick them up on her lunch break. So salutes to her for that. And even the year before for the Columbia 11s, um, I got lucky on those. I walked in the mall and got an extra pair of Columbia 11s I think like six or seven, like, you know, they usually let go of pairs that have been held by a raffle or whatever by tickets at certain times, depending on the store. And I walked in the mall like that Saturday at like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and they still had my size in the Columbia 11. So that was just another like blessing out of nowhere. But yeah, man, Thursday, Air Jordan 72 and 10 11s, still definitely a clean pair, a pair that some people are really on the fence about just because of like the, the glitter kind of effect on the top. But really that leather, the quality on these, I felt like was really good. Um, and I like how they just went with that straight, 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 not ice, it's not ice blue, but straight translucent, kind of yellow looking sole, kind of like that. But that was a Thursday. What do we rock on Friday? Now for Friday, we had to go with some low key heat. And I'm gonna say low key heat because I'm gonna show this shoe and I'm pretty sure there's some people that still don't even know when this, what the shoe is, when it released or anything like that. Even though it was 
somewhat popular and they had another shoe that go along with it but is that that's the Vachetta or Vachetta whichever one it is tan Air Force One uh, this is the Nike lab one and I'm pretty sure like this shoe didn't really like sell out I thought well this one did this colorway did but there was also other colorways there's like an olive army green white red black navy blue and a lot of those colorways didn't sell out so i'm not sure if they're still available on nike um but i would have loved to i mean i honestly i didn't want to get any more because i could see that they were probably going to go on sale somewhere so i'm gonna see if i can catch them on sale um, i also have the flight 89 in the same colorway so if I can catch any of those other colorways on sale, I think it's gonna be a good cop. I mean, the red ones are dope, the green ones are dope, the gray is actually dope too, and they actually have the Flight 89s to match these same shoes, and the leather on these is just, the leather on these is kinda hard to see right here when I'm close up to the camera, but the leather on these joints is crisp. One of the better releases from Nike Lab, in my opinion. Um, I think they hit it out of the park with these forces. The only thing that was weird was the toe. The toe box is a little bit bulkier than your regular force. Oh, my other one's sitting over there as you guys can see if you guys look at the toe box on this white pair just kind of how the slope is you guys can see it now then look at this one it's it's a it's a little bit chunkier you know give or take but that was thursday some low-key nike heat that you might or you may or may not have known about but still dope nonetheless what was going on on saturday so for Saturday, I'm going to use a filler shoe because I'm going to probably wear something else. Um, but this is a shoe I wore a few weeks ago and I actually just didn't even put it in the weekly secret rotation. But it's one I definitely want to talk about. Um, and I think it's, it's an important shoe, man. It's an important shoe in this whole sneaker culture, sneaker time span thing. And this shoe is the KD4 Galaxy. We are now on the KD9. Um, but this is arguably... One of the best KDs ever created. Um, and I think it's one it's part of the like really the pack that really changed the sneaker culture, the sneaker world, which was the 2012 All-Star Galaxy Pack, which caused riots. Um, I'm not sure if there's any deaths. I'm not sure about that, but that caused riots caused people to sleep in their trunks because I've heard of that story. Um, it just caused people to go crazy. The Galaxy Foams, the Big Bang LeBrons, which are kind of back there. You guys can't really see them. Um, but that pack, man, that year, that pack alone was just so crazy. You had the, uh, and that just sparked the whole Galaxy theme. You had the Zoom Rookies, um, the Glow in the Dark joints. You had the Galaxy ones. And these shoes were selling for so much. And these days, some shoes still go for a lot. And some really have depreciated in value. The Galaxy Foams will forever be up there. Um, the Galaxy KD4s, when I bought these, I paid $280 for them. And I paid that, I think, two or three days after the release, I believe. And to me... That was expensive, but now they go for even more than that. So I honestly thought I was getting gypped because, I mean, it was this was a $95 shoe and they resold for about three times as much. And now they go for even more from what I've seen. Um, the big bangs have kind of diminished in value. Um, the Kobe's kind of lost the value the quickest. And then also, so sadly, the, the Flight 1, which is one of my favorites, I have that shoe too, the value on that shoe has diminished pretty much like to retail. Honestly, if you want a brand new pair, you just have to find it. But yo, this pack to me, this shoe to me, um, is still one of the best, if not the best shoe out of the pack. Um, and I'm so glad to have these. And um, it's crazy, man. I posted a picture of these on Instagram. And some people were asking me what they were, like they didn't even know. And I'm like, yo, that blows my mind because this was such a big shoe in 2012. Like the Galaxy Pack, that whole like situation was just crazy. So for someone to say, yo, what are those shoes or what are those? I was like, what? How do you not know, dog? But you know, it is what it is, man. Senior culture is what it is. We got new people all the time. And um, salutes to everybody, you know what I'm saying? But this is Saturday. Sorry I took so long to talk about them, but there's something special in my collection that I don't think I would ever, ever, ever let go just for the fact of what they are. But that was Saturday, so let's go ahead and end this one off. Sunday is not a long, drawn-out story because I'm just assuming this is what I'm going to be wearing on Sunday. Now to end this one off for Sunday, this is actually one of the shoes I'm packing for Atlanta. 
So I'm just assuming just because of the shoe it is, I'm going to be wearing it. Um, this is the one I plan to be wearing the most. I just got hit with some crepe protect before I take it out there. But that is the Flyknit Air Presto. I know it's going to be a little bit blasted out right here, but I will have the B-roll for you. Um, still, 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 still one of my favorite new models of 2016. Um, I think it's a dope shoe. Um, some people were like weirdly comparing it to the Ultra Boost, which I didn't really get. I was like, why are you comparing the Presto, like a mid-cut Flyknit shoe, to the Ultra Boost? I was like, why are y'all drawing these comparisons? It's so weird how everything is like, eh, it's not weird, but it's just a thing that everything is compared to the Ultra Boost, even when it really shouldn't. And I don't really think these should be compared to the Ultra Boost at all. I think it's a completely different shoe. Um, and to me, they're still fire. The blue ones are fire. The gray ones are fire. The white ones are my favorite, and they're extremely fire. The black ones are nice too. There's even a multicolor ID flying an option that I've been messing around with. I just haven't ordered it yet. Um, so I may get those as well. But yo, the Flying It Air Presto, extremely comfortable, extremely necessary for spring and summer. If you can't grab them, if you can't get with the, I think it's like 160 or 170 price tag. I mean, if y'all want to compare it to Ultra Boost, it's still less than Ultra Boost. And maybe you won't get called as hype beast as much if you wear these. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, that is it, guys. Much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. All right, let me see if I can stack these live on camera right now. Because the stacking, it takes skill, okay? This takes skill. So bam, okay, boom, and then we need one more just to make sure everything doesn't fall down. Bam, and there it is. That was my rotation for this week. Let me know what was your favorite kick. What did you wear for 4th of July? And I will see you guys in the next video. So much love to the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snups, here, there, blase, blah, of course.